In this video we are going to talk about auto discover. As it named auto discover is all about automating discovering the configuration of Microsoft Exchange for Exchange email clients. An auto discover in an exchange is to provide an easy and a straightforward method for getting information about the uh, communication details that includes authentication protocol, encryption protocol and information about a specific exchange services and exchange host who provide these services to the client. In simple words, I can say auto discover is the way clients find the exchange server they want to connect it. The client devices like Outlook and mobile devices and also the devices which use IMAP or POP3 to connect exchange server, that depends the auto discover configuration very much. And you can say auto discover is linked to almost all parts in your exchange server architecture. So it means if your auto discover configuration is wrong, then it is going to affect from the normal connectivity to the migration interruption A1. So auto discover configuration will affect even if you are building a new exchange server or you are going to bring a coexistence for example 2013 and 2016 versions together or you are migrating from an on-premises to a cloud migration or when you have an exchange hybrid setup like some of your users in on-premises and some of them are in Office 365 cloud all these cases auto discover is very much important so if your auto discover is wrong then you may end up with some issues from outlook clients or mobile devices or when you configure coexistence between two versions or exchange hybrid setup so you will find problems when you have auto discover configuration wrong so auto discover is very much important when it comes to an exchange server configuration when you look at the organization and compare the exchange server setup some organization may have a single exchange server, some have multiple exchange server, some have coexistence, for example, they have two, two different versions, and some organizations use hybrid setup. And also, no one is fixed to one version. Today, I'm using exchange over 2013, and tomorrow, I may add up exchange over 2019 to my organization, and after a week, I can migrate to exchange over online also. So the auto discover information or the configuration information that required by uh, email clients are not same always. The source of information is dynamic. You can, uh, you may plan for a migration or you may plan for a hybrid setup anytime and the clients need to adjust or client needs to know that this configuration changes happened. So the source of information in the exchange server side is dynamic. And if you look at the clients, you can see there are different type of clients. Even you have uh, Outlooks, there are different versions available in Outlook. Outlook 2007 connect to an exchange server is a different way and Outlook 2013 connect to an exchange server is a different way. And the mobile clients, they connect to an exchange server uh, through ActiveSync, but at the same time Outlook, they connect to an exchange server is through MAPI HTTP or RPC. So the way they connect to the exchange server is depends upon the type of the client and also the version of the application. And also from the exchange server side, there are many possible combinations. So the source of information is dynamic and the request for information is also from different type of clients. And auto discover is not only for exchange email clients. Exchange server online also use auto discover to find on-premises exchange servers in your organization so it is clear the exchange server configuration is not a static configuration and the type of clients also vary so auto discover file is not a static file based upon the request from outlook mail client or other exchange email client exchange server generate a dynamic auto discover xml file and responds to the auto discover request now let us configure our Outlook client with one of the email user that we created in our Exchange Admin Center. So configuring an Outlook email account is very easy for us now because we followed all the best practices when we uh, building our first Exchange server. So we completed the certificate requirement, we completed our uh, shared namespace. So we have all the uh, configurations ready. So when you configure Outlook now you only need to enter your username and password 
and the Outlook will pull all the required information from AutoDiscover and complete the configuration for you. So let us see how it works. I have prepared a Windows 10 and an Outlook application. So let us try to configure Adam at m365proguide.com. The user is already logged in with his credential. So you have two options, you can manually configure it or you can automatically configure it. As we have auto discover configured, SSL certificate configured, we don't need to go for a manual configuration. So let me connect to my account. Now select exchange. And you can see that all the informations will be automatically configured. I only need to enter the password of this user. You can see that the exchange account configuration has completed and after I click done the outlook open up and download all the emails uh, that have in their mailbox. So configuring an outlook is very simple when you have auto discover so you have nothing to configure as auto discover you need to uh, follow a lot of uh, general best practices that we did in the previous videos. Uh, regarding the SSL certificate and shared namespace and all then the auto discover will work very easily when you configure an auto discover URL you have two options to configure you can configure it as your server name that is a fully qualified domain name slash auto discover slash auto discover dot SML or you can configure auto discover dot your domain dot com slash auto discover slash auto discover dot xml so these two options you have and this options you have it only for your internal url so when you configure an outlook in an internal network it's gonna try first with your fully qualified domain name slash auto discover slash auto discover dot xml if there is no response from your exchange server then it's gonna try with auto discover dot domain dot com following to the auto discover dot xml so these two options you have when you want to configure your auto discover internal url when it comes to the external access outlook will try auto discover dot domain dot com slash auto discover auto discover dot xml for the external access you don't have an option to configure auto discover url the outlook client gonna build auto discover following to your domain dot com slash auto discover dot xml so when you prepare an ssl certificate you have to make sure that the auto discover dot domain dot com is included in your ssl certificate in the previous video we saw how to create ssl certificate and i show you how to create it with wildcard so if you are not using a wildcard certificate then you have to make sure that you included auto discover dot domain dot com in your ssl certificate now let's go back to the Outlook we configured. From the same machine, if you go to the local Microsoft Outlook 16 directory, you will find a XML file. And this XML file is the auto discover file that downloaded as we configured our Outlook for the Exchange server. So you can open this XML file using a notepad by right click and open with a notepad. Or you can open with Office XML Handler and that gives you a better view. Then if you look at the XML file, you can see that there are three type of protocol available in this XML file. The exchange that is EXCH which includes the information for internal Outlook clients. So that this information is going to be used to configure your Outlook when you are configuring it from the internal network. Then there is web section which cover the OVA information that required for OVA clients that is web mail clients. Then we have EX HTTP section that includes the information related to external Outlook clients. So Outlook request for auto discover file during the account creation. Then once it is successful every one hour later Outlook will request again the auto discover to know that if there is any changes in auto discover because I told you exchange server configuration is not a static configuration it may change because the configuration you may add new exchange server in in a one hour 
or you may add a hybrid configuration setup to an exchange server. So Outlook poll every one hour, even the Outlook auto discover configuration is successful. It gonna try to pull the auto discover file every one hour later to know the changes and to prepare your Outlook client according to that. Then if there is any connectivity failure also, then Outlook will uh, try to pull the auto discover.xml file. And if there is any other application started using Mappy connectivity, then also the Outlook will uh, pull this auto discover file from Exchange Server. It is common sometimes you face some issue with your Outlook configuration. And the first thing to check is the connectivity and auto discover for that. Go to Outlook icon from the taskbar, press Ctrl, then right click, you will find connection status. And you can see that the way Outlook connected to Exchange Server, the Exchange Server name, the connection status, and the protocol, authentication protocol. So this will give you some information about the connected Exchange Server and also the connection status. The other tool we have is text email configuration, auto configuration. You can see from the same place. You can also open the test email auto configuration from the icon by control and right click. Enter the email address and password here. Then just click on the test button. That will give you some results related to auto configuration. So you can see that the internal URL, the external URL it tried to connect and the protocol it tried to connect, the authentication, then SSL encryption. So all the details you will get it from here. And this means that this Outlook is able to pull the auto discover file from Exchange Server and you can see the authentication package now it is NTLM and the protocol also it tries. And if you look at the log file, you will see that the auto discover configuration has started and auto discover configuration has succeeded. So this gives us the result that the auto configuration or the auto discover.xml file successfully downloaded by the Outlook client. And from the XML file, you will see what XML file is provided by Exchange Server. And the same file we saw already from the directory that the XML file is downloaded to your user account and we saw it and I explained you well on what each of the protocol and the section means. Now let us go through the auto discover process quickly. So the first thing when you configure an auto discover it check for the local data preference. So you can configure a registry to look at the auto discover file locally so we saw the auto discover dot xml file once you configure an outlook you can navigate to the directory and you can see the auto discover file so what you can do is you can copy the auto discover file and you can save it in a c drive some location then you can configure this registry and by this way instead of looking the auto discover file from the exchange server it can look up the auto discover from the local data and configure the outlook. If you have any issue with configuring outlook auto discover, then this way you can manage it temporarily. And this is also used when you are testing the auto discover configuration. If the local data file is not available, then the auto discover process will check for the last non good data. If you want to skip this process or if you want to control this, you can do this through the policy by using exclude last non good URL. If there is no last non good data, it go for Office 365 auto discover file. So Outlook will make an attempt to retrieve the auto discover XML file from auto discover dot outlook dot com. You can also control this through the policy through exclude explicit Office 365 endpoint. If there is no Office 365 auto discover XML file, then it go and check the SCP data. So it Outlook perform a LDAP query to retrieve the service connection point data. And if that returns an auto discover XML file, then Outlook will configure it with that. If not, it will try for the next step. And also you can control this using exclude SCP lookup. 
Now the auto discover will build a URL with your fully qualified domain name slash auto discover slash auto discover dot XML and try to retrieve the payload. So if you configured it as auto discover dot your domain name dot com, then in that case, you will not get any response in the step five. In step six, Outlook will check for auto discover dot domain dot com following to the auto discover directory and it will try to retrieve the auto discover dot xml file you can control this through exclude https root domain uh, policy if you want to skip this process then outlook check for srv data that is uh, the service record that you have configured in the dns manager you can also control this using exclude srv record policy to check the external connectivity, Microsoft provide Microsoft Remote Connectivity Analyzer. We will focus now only on the auto discover part. You can do a lot of things from the remote connectivity analyzer. Now let us focus on the exchange server and the auto discover part. And that you can do by Outlook Connectivity. We'll enter our email address, then username then password then you need to enter the characters that you can see here then you can perform the test so let's fill up this form and you can see that i have two options use auto discover to detect the server settings or i need to enter my exchange server name and the other details let's go for auto discover to detect the server settings click for the verification then click on the perform test button now you can see the Outlook connectivity testing result and you can see the auto discover has auto discover is validated. You can expand this and you can uh, find out the uh, result details from here. You can see that it tries the m365proguide.com slash auto discover and it didn't get any uh, response with that URL. Then Outlook again tries with autodiscover.m365proguide.com and following to autodiscover virtual directory and it get the result. This is the way Outlook try to retrieve the autodiscover.xml file to automate the configuration. And the only warning we have is related to the SSL certificate that actually you can do and you don't need to be worried about it because the SSL certificate chain is perfect in our case so you don't need to worry about it let us summarize what we have learned in this video so a auto discover configuration is not just about automating your outlook configuration it is automating your clients connectivity to your exchange server and it have a major role when it comes to hybrid connectivity when it comes to coexistence when you are migrating your exchange server auto discover configuration keeps an uninterrupted connection to your client while doing all these kind of complex configurations or migrations. So auto discover is very important and it start with a common shared namespace. When you configure a virtual directory, you configure the auto discover internal URL with your fully qualified domain name. So we used a different name than the uh, exchange host name we use mail.m365proguide.com and that is the best practice always uh, try to use a common namespace so that you can have many exchange servers behind the common namespace then we created an ssl certificate so that uh, we don't have any more ssl certificate error for our uh, exchange server client access then we also configured the DNS records for mail.m365proguide.com and also we configured auto discover in internal DNS manager and also in the external GoDaddy DNS manager. All these steps are required to make your auto discover work properly. In this video, we didn't configure anything related to auto discover because we completed our auto discover configuration when we configured the virtual directory, when we configured the SSL certificate, when we configured the DNS configuration. So what I did in this video is I explained to you how auto discover work and what all you need for auto discover and how you can troubleshoot auto discover for the connectivity. So that is all. See you in the next video.